No, thank you. All right, for let's the talk awesome about this. And commentary T90 Woo, T90 Woo, T90 Woo, T90 Woo. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a map called Bur called Bird's Nest, which is another amazing free for all map made by this guy right here, Algernon. So let's start off this game by saying thanks, Algernon. It is a regicide king of the hill combo. This might be a new replacement for one of the best maps for community games because this is pretty sweet. So obviously you lose your king in regicide, you are dead, but also if you don't control the monument and hold this down to zero, you are also dead. And this monument is what Dave would call a moldy wonder, by the way, for whatever reason. One of my favorite wonders in the game. So first things first, it's called Bird's Nest. You have water in each corner, but you're also blocked off by Next. dying Game. iron boars. Arabia. Tons. Next. <laughs> Blue pill, I'm going to skip this. I promise I'll play it later. Just remind me. Uh, so you have water in the north. You have dead boars blocking you off. They're slowly running away, but they're blocking you off from getting anywhere else on the map except to one person. So you're kind of in a mini 1v1 for a couple minutes of this one. So we have Nopesaur in the purple playing as Berbers up against Algernon playing as the Byzantines. In the... Orange, we have Carlini playing as Portuguese, and he will be up against Nidge. Uh, I guess we'll just call him Nidge. Chat was making fun of my lack of Dutch skills a moment ago, but we'll call him Teal. Teal is playing as the Italians. Uh, and then we have Malamadre. Malamadre is playing as the Portuguese, and he will be up against Honey. Uh, Honey is playing as the Malians. And is Malamadre laming? Yo, this is a community game. Calm down, try hard. <laughs> What is this? This is so weird. The scout should not be alive here. Anyway, uh, then we have in the blue Turkish trading playing as the Saracens versus Orion Lion playing as the Mayans. So um, you can lose your king and die. You cannot control the monument and die. In the middle, there are lots of relics to control. You can fish and eventually you'll be able to access everyone. You can see the iron boars food there. It's 573 food 572 and it's slowly rotting away so this is actually an awesome idea just the iron boar aspect i find very interesting and as far as i know you might be able to collect food from this i do i kind of forget so we don't have a t90 bird emote we don't have a t90 dying boar emote but we do have a new t90 boys emote so you guys can get that going because this is an awesome map <laughs> This is pretty cool. What are your thoughts, Twitch chat? Good, bad? Sorry, can you repeat that? I didn't hear you from all this hype. Forest, See, now this is a good time for the hype. This is fine Forest, now. I just needed to get my introduction Forest, out of the way. Next map or riot. Now we'll probably Forest, have some time to wait. Map or riot. Skip IT and IT and IT and riot. Woo. Freeloading, thank you again, everybody. Blue pill, doad, freeloading. I don't know what to say, but... To all who sub today, to all who support today, I really appreciate you all. Okay. Even though you, you all spam intentionally, I still love you. <laughs> I saw a couple people say that this is a good map. One person said it's a sad map because of all the, the death here. Well, it's just an animal. Animals don't count, right? Humans were meant to, to eat animals. <laughs> it's going to be one person in the chat that's like, I do not eat animals. I do not eat animals. I eat only plants. I am a forager. Not trying to offend anybody, just making jokes. But let's calm it down, chat. I just find the one... There's so many interesting elements to this. I think the most exciting thing is that it starts in a 1v1. This is not diplomacy, so you cannot set allies. You're stuck on your own in this world. I feel like... On one hand, if you're a weaker player, you'll struggle in the 1v1s, but on the other hand, the boars are at 493 food now, so you will be able to run away a little bit. And then an argument could, of course, be made that you can't run away very far anyhow, because you're going to run right into the next player. Uh, this is pretty cool. Now there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 relics in the middle. So that will promote aggression as well, instead of just sitting back at home. There are golds and stones that are not necessarily close to your town centers that you're going to need to try and collect. And this would be awkward, for example, nope. So if he doesn't lock this down with a castle or a tower or something, this could easily be Carlini's. 
And Carlini's on his way to feudal. You can take different approaches, I suppose. You could go for feudal age attack. Oh, no. You animal. Guys, can we get the tears flowing in the chat? Because I know what's coming. Story time here. I met Carlini for the first time in January at a meetup. Now, in my defense, I was not... Oh, you're... You're disgusting, Carlini. You are disgusting. In my defense, I was not playing on my PC, and I did not have the right hotkeys. But Carlini played me, and he beat me. And he beat me by doing this cowardly strategy. Carlini will watch this. I'm still salty about that, man. <laughs> like, after he did this to me, he just looked at me with a, with a little smirk, and I was very disappointed, and I'm sure that that Nilj will be disappointed as well. He's going for the wood line. He's going for the berries and the stone. And um, he is not Spanish, which he does like for towers, but uh, Portuguese, I guess, is good enough for him. He likes his towers. And Nilj has gone up quite late to feudal age, so he's going to struggle. He can't build any counter towers. And he doesn't even know about this. So that's why I said get the, get the tears flowing for him. I already feel bad for him. <laughs> I, I know Tower Rush is a real strategy. I'm just, just trolling Carlini, of course. I didn't think I'd ever tell a soul about that day. And now you all know. <laughs> oh, and oh, Carlini's building a Palisade Gate. And Teal says, yo, troll. Oh, this is going to be so bad because now Carlini can run in, but Teal can't run out. And he's like, oh, there's... Th we need to go to gold. Well, there's towers here. We need to stop them, but you can't. You can't. No, make it stop. Oh, this is why I called Carlini an animal. He has a tower on the right side of the woodline. He has towers here. You can't attack two towers like that. This villager will die, and everything is just going wrong. Though I have to respect Carlini for the trap. I have to say, this is impressive with the gates. That's pretty cool stuff. Now, poor Teal, he... He can't run past the boars. <laughs> it's like, quick, let's go hunt <laughs> so we can get out of here. He can't get past the boars. And if he runs to the north, he just runs into Carlini. So luckily he's in feudal age now, but it's going to be a struggle for him. So uh, we're going to need to pay close attention to all these engagements before the boars wither away. The bird noise is slightly triggering, I have to say. But anyway, I'll get used to it. Honey is going to gold now, but doesn't seem to be attacking. Malamadre is going for a fast castle. Blacksmith Market. So no engagements between these two, except on water, where Honey's making a fire ship, because they're both fishing. We have what looks to be... I'm, I'm not entirely sure what Orion Lion's going for, actually. But... Oh, we got Woo Woo Wood! Get wrecked, noob! I'm just kidding. <laughs> not a noob. Not a noob. And it looks like the scouts got in before the stone walls were completed. And two villagers down for Orion Lion. Actually, maybe three. Quick wallet! Quick wallet! Palisade! Alright, this is fine, chat. This is fine. Uh, so, scouts for Turkish trading, I guess, and Orion Lion just trying to hold on for now. Yeah, he has walled off his base, luckily. Algernon going for the fast castle as well. Choo choo choo. Thumbs up for some good old communism games. Next game, <laughs> laggy HDD sync nothing. Uh, Nopzor is in feudal, not in the way to castle yet, but has not been Thanks looking to attack Algernon. Next game, forest. AoE nothing. snack bar, Next. thank you so much, game. man. That's so forest. generous. Shandy Crooks, nothing. thank you for the five dollars. Forest, game. Lol King, thank you nothing. for the hundred bits. Forest. Chat, can we get game. some salutes Next. flowing as Wah. well for Abrick nothing. TV, who hosted Wah. us with four viewers? Nothing. Really appreciate that. Hello, wah, hello, hello. Wah, wah, I think we nothing. briefly Forest. covered everything we needed Next, to here. Wah. Next. Game. Carlini is a jerk. Starcraft. Uh, I don't think we'll stream StarCraft, but I do play that on occasion. Shandy Crooks, welcome and thank you again. Well, uh, this has been a wild start and it's only going to get crazier because, again, this is Regicide. So, chat, if you want to show the new people to the stream what a king looks like, you lose that king, you're dead. Now, the kings look a little bit different, okay? But, same concept applies. You lose this old fat man, who happens to be very fast, <laughs> and you're dead. Uh, and also, you can control the monument to win as well. 
Teal says, this is so much fun, Carlini. Oh, I know. The speed, the agility, the excitement of the tower rush. <laughs> Poor Teal. Poor Teal. Yes. <laughs> he, he can't... Like, Carlini's stealing his wood. Carlini is collecting wood from Teal's lumber. Ugh. I feel bad for you, Teal. But at least you have a bunch of people here who sympathize with you. Prankill, I... I thought back to what Algernon said. I think that you cannot collect food from the boars to get through. <laughs> but even if you were to do that, it would it'd be a bit of a waste, I think. I don't know. I guess if you're Mongols, it'd be awesome. Orion Lion's on the way to Castle. And though he struggled a bit earlier versus the scouts from Turkish Trading, and he seems like he's behind, GMT makes I think he's okay. Play in community games. But I'm watching these from bed, going to sleep. Great stuff. I think there's a visual glitch with Carlini's towers in the game. They should look the same as Teal's Italian towers. Ah, oh, that's true. He's Portuguese. You're right. There is a visual glitch. Well, that is not something that Teal is focusing on now. I don't think Teal really cares what the enemy towers look like. <laughs> he's, he's probably... Um, just not happy to see so many towers surrounding him because he is completely surrounded. Funny thing is, Teal is waiting for the boars to rot away so he can run with some bills. Oh, just crazy. Uh, Tezaru. Whoa! Oh, Carlini says GG. Sorry. Oh. I thought. Oh, I feel so bad. <laughs> I mean, of course, Carlini, he wants all these resources, right? He wants space. This is a free-for-all. He wants that that uh, YouTube fame. He wants the victory. But uh, it does break break the heart, break the soul a little bit. Carlini killed a player. Not by killing the king, but by killing his spirit. And poor Teal. Poor Teal. Sad thing is, his color is the same color as the tears that are now flowing in the chat. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Tezaru, sorry you can't make it to all the streams. Totally understand, but with all the different time zones, I try and stream longer now, and I try and stream in different time zones. But thank you so much for being here, and thank you for the subs, as well as uh, Mariah, or, yep, Mariah and DNO Blood. Thank you guys. Now, we have a Monk Siege push from Malamadre, who actually likes to play Arena, I know that much, and he's a pretty high rated player on Vubli. And you can see this map is all about aggression in the early stages, and poor Honey. You know, so I'm going to go earlier. I'm not sure what he was planning on going with, but he is definitely struggling now. His TC could die soon. His king is in here again. And the monks have converted villagers. So this is going to be a big problem as he's taking losses. That's a little bit more even on this side. The Turkish trading has lots more villagers and a stronger boom than Orion, but Orion is at least fine for now. So it might be a T90 fine moment where everything's burning down and he is to wall up. Uh, Teal, I'm just gonna call you Teal, even in the Twitch chat. To be honest, this is one of the more aggressive maps we've seen, so I wouldn't really stress out too much about it. A lot of community games, you have a bit more time. The first step in stopping a tower rush is seeing it, and I think your feudal time could have been a bit faster, and that would have helped as well. After that, it was always gonna be tough. So we have Maganel now, from Algernon, the guy who created this map, and some knights. And Nupzor is in Castle Age. Now, oh, look at the next level strategies from Algernon. Who needs a Tower Rush when you can go for a TC Rush? You just TC'd the wood line of Nupzor at Garrison to push the bills away. That's funny. Now, the boars are at 129 food now. I think there's a slight difference between them. Yeah, some of the boars have 170, but... Fact is, is that this is going to open up very soon. And, oh, I like the castle from Orion Lion. Not just the position. The position's awesome. But I like it because he can make plumed archers as Mayans. Did he make all of this dead boars trigger killing all of them? Yes, he did. Most of the maps that we do in these community games have been created by a lot of the regulars. Like Algernon and Roach and Hank. Like, uh, Calm Enigma. I know there's other people out there. I'm sorry I'm not putting you on the list, but yeah, it's a pretty special map. Is this King of the Hill? I wasn't paying attention. Yes, it is. There's a monument right here. So you can control the monument to win, or you can kill kings. 
Like here, Algernon's king is sitting out in the open. But he can sit it out in the open because he is well protected because of this attack. Now, I want to see who will go for the relics. I think that getting the relics, considering you have no allies and you cannot trade, though that doesn't stop people sometimes, um, it's going to be really important. And there's 14 of them, if I counted correctly. 14 or 15. And that's a lot of gold. And it's right next to the bases of everyone. Now, you can see that Nopesaur is already preparing for the attack from Algernon if he comes around this way. So I like that, but the crazy thing is this, this stone wall is going to look awkward once all the boars rot away. So maybe you build a castle here. Now Carlini is on his way to Castle H. He'll be there soon. And he does have the stone for a castle. And again, he has all of these resources available to him because Teal resigned. Malay would be good with infinite fish traps. That's an interesting point. I think they'd be good for a lot of different reasons, actually. Because you could... If you do run out of gold, you can have the free two-handed swordsmen. And now we have a castle from Algernon. So, again, this community game map is a bit more aggressive. Naturally, you're going to have stronger players in the 1v1 matchups. So, Algernon leading on his side, though Nopsor is building his own castle and his population's healthy. Downside for Nopsor, he doesn't have the water, but still, I like his civilization in this matchup. Uh, then in this 1v1 in the left-hand corner, Turkish Trading seems to be leading. But, again, Orion Lion has TCs, has a castle, and has defended well. And then, I I feel bad. I completely forgot about Honey. <laughs> Honey rebuilt a TC here. Oh my gosh. I completely forgot about the fact that Honey was dying. He is nothing left. 10 bills. And where's his king at? Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I forgot about you, brother. He's hiding down here. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be next to this town center either because Mal Madre is now building a castle on it. So, obviously, Mal Madre is having a good time with the aggression here. And pretty soon, all of these boars are going to disappear, so I'm not going to look anywhere else. I just want to see what it looks like when they all rot away. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. I hoped for a nothing map. Uh, no problem, man. No problem. There'll, there'll be many chances in the future to play. Oh, there they go! So hold on. Do the boars in the middle have a bit more HP? Or not HP food? I, I, I see. That's what it is. Okay, well, all these boars are now gone. So you can attack anybody you would like. Turkish trading on the way to Imp. And so is Algernon. Well, that's pretty cool. I really like this map idea. Now, you see how Carlini has the monastery already? He's building two of them now. He wants to get to these relics. I hear villagers dying. I hear stone walls now from Nupsor. I like. Where did those villas die at? Oh, of course it was Honey. <laughs> Poor Honey. <laughs> now, little does Malamadre know, but the king is. Whoa, where'd he go? Honey, where'd you put the king? <laughs> Unreal. He's still in it, guys. He has his king in this transport. He's still in it. <laughs> Algernon laughs and says, Orion. Orion says, let me be your barrier to Turkish, Algernon. Tempting, I, I can see these castles being a problem for Orion because he's placed them right up against the edge, which works in the early castle age. But Turkish trading will be an imp soon. And then he can make trebuchets or bombard cannons to snipe this okay so the middle is now open and lots of players thinking about this and sending units towards the middle this becomes a very different game now nope Sor is on the way to imp now he will struggle because algernon has beat him there and algernon is collecting so many resources and finally the countdown begins with that monument you forgot about it didn't you well Season 1 is over. Season 2 has begun of this show. In Season 1, a couple players were killed off. Honey's still clinging on for dear life, so maybe he can make a comeback. Unlikely, though, because I don't think the editors of this show really want that to happen. Um, of course, everyone has one king. 
And if you lose that king, you're dead. So maybe Honey's chance will be to stay alive and try and get to castle and snipe the king. He's running around with a few scouts right now. You see all of these monks from Al Madre. He's going to try and get conversions. And I think he these scouts that he does have, he converted earlier anyhow. And yep, he's going to get conversions. So he's a little bit more going with this army now. And Heavy Camel for Turkish trading. Onager. He has lots of Maganels that will be Onager. And then he could cut through the trees. I think that will be a problem for Orion because he doesn't have anything to stop that. Yeah, I'm going to have to work on the hydration after this game because I don't have any water close by. Holy castles from Algernon. The guy who made the map playing very strong. One, two, three, four. Algernon told me that he came home from vacation a day early so he could play in some of these games. And that's a pretty good vacation if you ask me. I might be a little bit biased, but I'd like to think that the community games are fun on this channel. So it's not a bad thing. I actually just got back from vacation as well. And I also came back early so I could stream prior to community games to get the hype rolling once again. And we hit the sub goal and everything. It's just been crazy. Carlini has seven relics. Oh, Algernon. He's not happy about this. He's going to kill one monk. Now, hold on. Oh, I like it. Algernon knew that if he lost that scout to a conversion, then he'd lose his monk as well. So... He has just deleted his scout, and now Carlini's sending in one of his own. Now, will he lose this? Uh, yeah, you gotta pay attention to monks. That's the, the trouble. And Algernon may be a bit too relaxed on his vacation because he didn't realize that. Carlini is going to have nine relics at the very least. Now, here come the onagers, and suddenly Orion's lion is thinking, Oh, crap. This is fine. You just got a wall. No problem at all. Yeah, this is a problem. He has no answer to this whatsoever. Hmm. Now, I am really rooting for Honey to, to do something here. This is this castle HTC. No! He has two... Nine villagers. Guys, his TC has 450 HP. It's at 93%. Please let him get to castle. Ah, this is fine. It was well calculated from Honey. He's a champ. Look at that. Easy. Easy. He's hit castle, luckily. Which means that he can build the new town center down here with these vills. That's weird. It says he has 12 vills now. Did I miss something? I don't know. But he, his king is still alive. In the transport. And he's going to reboom. Wow. So what next? I mean, we have the, the Treb War now between Algernon and Nopesor. Nopesor is doing a lot better than I thought he would after his start, because he was much later to Castle Age. And still, you never want to get into a Treb War with Byzantines when you're attacking their castles, because their castles last so damn long. I think both players will lose a castle here, and then we'll see if Algernon can make his way through the walls. Oh no, this is a problem! Pony has just lost his fire galleys, and now his king is in jeopardy. Malamadre converting the fire galleys, and this king has to think about running. They're going to run to the new town center. Well, Turkish trading has been a complete beast today, and he is researching siege on Now, watch these eagles. Just watch them get destroyed. One attack round, please. Oh, the micro! Is this Viper, or is it Orion Lion? Come on, man. I don't want to jinx you. Damn it. <laughs> he kept the eagles alive a little bit longer. That's all that matters there, okay? Stop judging him. He tried. He had the right idea to go with melee units, but he's just too far behind with eco. Siege Onager. Wow. Saracens are arguably the best sieve for free-for-alls because you can sell your extra wood and food. Uh, so if you do run out of gold, of course, which Turkish trading probably won't because you can get relics and all this gold, you can still have gold units being created. Holy cow. Five castles for Algernon after losing one. Now, camel archers for Nopesor. This is something that Algernon hasn't really prepared himself to deal with yet. He's going with elite cataphracts, though. He's going with the style that Lisko used last game with the sieve, which is a good, good style. 
And poor Orion's Lion, you better get the tears ready for him as well, because he's about to get wrecked, so hold on. Oh, his king is over here in this TC. So he can survive a little bit longer, but I just don't see how he can actually push back here. And Orion Lion, the nice guy he is, he says, Blue is coming for you, my friends. Just letting Algernon know that pressure will be coming his way before he dies. People not named Carlini don't get relics. Well, Algernon got a few. Turkish Trading just got one. I definitely gotta give Carlini credit for being so aggressive with both getting these extra golds by killing Teal and also being aggressive getting those relics because he had the monasteries prepared. Now, you can't really run. If Orion tries to run, he'll run into Algernon and he'll die there. If Nopesor tries to run, he runs right into Carlini and that's not good considering his... His boom is great, and he has all those relics for gold. So, you're just pretty much dead. Unless you're Honey, of course. Now, Honey is just badass. And he can survive under such circumstances, apparently. I don't even care who wins the game. I just want to see Honey kill a king. I think that would be so awesome. Like, look where he has to build his farms, guys. He just doesn't have anything. Like, the guy, unfortunately, has... An idle TC. Okay, creating more vills. He's trying to build a second TC next to a castle here. Orion says, let me live, Algernon. Thank you. Uh, his king is here, so Orion, you need to save this. Orion says, no backstabbies. Algernon says, not yet. At least he's honest. Now, how can he let him live with this many castles? I don't see how that's... I guess the fills will have to be very careful where they go. There's, there's a small area here. I'm less than zero threat. Oh, also blue has my gold. You might want to go stop that. The king is right here, Orion. You better be careful. Oh, wait, this is an Algernon space. I'm sorry, I got confused because of the colors. For some reason, I thought it was here. So I guess he's, he's fine for now. Where's the Diplo? Blue canoe, this one is not Diplo. So this is just a standard free-for-all. And no one has really focused on that monument yet. While players did go for the relics, they did not go for the monument. The next game will be Diplo, for all wondering. We'll do some Diplo regicide. So we Portuguese versus Portuguese here. Malamadre has been very strong, almost killing Honey. He was unable to finish him off, but of course doing well. He has elite organ guns. He has halberdiers. That's probably the best combo you can have as Portuguese, then you want to mix in some Bombard Cannons. Now, I like what Carlini is doing. This seems like a small thing, but he's creating a Monastery in the back so he can send the Relics to a safer position. I like that. And pros don't actually do that too much. So, the, it's up to you guys to set the trend for those pros. And Nopesor, where is his king at now? I'm trying to just keep track of all of this. It's in this town center. And, of course, Byzantines with their cheap trash, they can counter these camel archers. And Nopesor is in... He's in trouble. So if he needs to run, he needs to run right towards Carlini's base. And Carlini's king is right here, actually. You know what? I think... And Nopesor doesn't know this, but if he were to sit underneath his town center right now with his camel archers and send the capped rams after the TC, he could have killed the king. But now Carlini knows what's up. And Carlini's kind of being sandwiched at the moment he has the resources but he needs to get his population up the ideal amount of organ guns in any army is zero i agree that they're not probably not the greatest unit in regular play but i think in free-for-alls they can actually be decent and portuguese don't have too many other options is the next map pilgrims i think we'll do a vote for the map after this if that's okay with you guys now, I don't know about you, but I really want to know what's going on with Honey. Honey, he's lost some population, unfortunately. His king is back on the water, though! Yeah, that's right! You can't kill this guy! He just does not go away. I guess he created fire galleys so he could kill the fire galleys that used to be his that were converted. And now, oh man, look at this. The king and the queen... Riding off into the sunset. Wow. Does that warm your heart or what? <laughs> Alright, well, we have uh, 
Some of the strongest hand cannons in the game. Arbicus hand cannons. Arbicus bombard cannons. Portuguese. They benefit from ballistics with Arbicus. Also, Arbicus is really fun to say. Arbicus, Arbicus, Arbicus. I don't know, that's fun for me anyway. A purple is still getting killed off by Algernon, so he's trying to run towards Carlini, but he doesn't have enough. So, pretty soon he's going to need to find some water to set sail in, and that's not an option for him. He's blocked off from the water. Now, Orion, he's actually still alive. Um, he doesn't have a lot. His king is, is over here. <laughs> uh, he doesn't even have... The wood to build a dock and make a transport for his king, but he's oh wait he does it's fine You know what to do chat. This is fine <laughs> No problem. He's gonna be able to set sail Himself and go into this corner just like Honey. Ah uh, Beautiful beautiful Oh goodness Nope, Sora needs to hop in that transport himself. He's lost his TC. Carly has got to be a little bit pissed off like, hey, man, that was unnecessary. You didn't need to attack me. What is this? Algernon trying to take this gold from Carlini? Okay. Malmadre says, hey, Carlini, how about you make a Fittoria? I convert with Monk. And we, <laughs> we do this 100 times. That's hilarious. Algernon might get his kill. Nope, source says FML. <laughs> Malmadre says, In infinite pop and resources. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. Uh, Carlini says a bit lame. Uh, I believe that this king can survive. Uh, I didn't have enough belief, apparently. That's a lot of military from Carlini. And Mal Madre, who was here a moment ago, he's kind of left this side. And maybe we're going to see him focusing towards the middle, because we did forget about Turkish trading over here. He's strong. He has elite Mameluke, Siege Onager, and Algernon's been trying to deal with that threat. This is a pretty cool game. I think it's just a matter of time until we only have four people remaining, though. I mean, Honey's the real MVP of this game, of course. So he's just giving everyone else a chance. Doesn't even need town centers to survive. I mean, that's quality stuff. Same with Orion, of course, who... Uh... Ooh! This is interesting! Instead of a man and a woman, we have two men. Well, I guess it's 2018, right? So, okay. Whatever floats your boat there, Orion. Be who you want to be, my friend. Bombard towers for Carlini now, so he can make even more gunpowder units. And, uh, hey, don't you dare ruin this love story, Algernon. <laughs> With this halb. I like how Algernon just let the guy live. Can he see that? Um, no, he doesn't know it's there. <laughs> I doubt he's focusing on that. Yeah, can we get the hashtag love wins in the chat? Hmm, so Saracens versus Byzantines. I mean, this all depends on the amount of resources you have, right? But I think Saracens can beat Byzantines because they get Siege Onager. Siege Onager can deal with all the cheap trash that Byzantines can make. And then I also think Mamelukes and Camels can deal with the Cataphracts. It depends on the numbers. If Algernon has 60 plus Cataphracts, then... It might be a different story. So in the south, we have Malmadre playing as Portuguese. I wonder where his king is. I'm not so sure, but he's doing a good job. Then on the west side, we have Turkish Trading playing as the Saracens. He's killing it. In the north, we have Algernon. Now he's struggling a bit out of the top four because he's being attacked and having to repair castles. But he's also doing quite well. I say that... <laughs> As I jinx him, because he lo he's losing Bombard Cannons, which is just far too expensive to throw away in a free-for-all. Then on the east, we have Carlini. Carlini has uh, eight relics. I think he's still trying to transport them to the back monastery. So we'll have probably over ten relics, and he's done quite well. No one really threatening him right now. Okay, here come the cataphracts. Oh my goodness, the siege onagers misfiring. Well, lots of siege onagers going down, but same with cataphracts. And this one patar, let's. Oh! <laughs> How did that happen? That did not just happen. That is not a thing. Holy shit. Algernon came in here 
with one random petard and killed two bomb lord cannons. The value in that. That's crazy. <laughs> I I can't believe he got through because of <laughs> of the the Mamelukes. Could people clip that? That was in, that was insane. Well, I hope Algernon wins now because that was clutch. That was that was clutch. I mean, if he can keep getting value like that, he'll easily kill Saracen. That'll be no problem. This man has skills to pay the bills. And wow. See, these Bombard Cannons, they're either going to destroy everything, or they're going to die in one single moment. And I'm kind of leaning towards die in one single moment, because, well, Sea Jonagers and Mamelukes... If they find an opportunity, they will destroy Bombard Cannons. Algernon's gold is looking pretty good. He has three relics. Let's toggle through the player point of views. Uh, we have tons of gold for Carlini. Wow, he is just swimming in resources. Pretty fitting for him, I would say. I don't like his sieve, of course, but I think that the resources will bode well for him. And you have Malamadre. Malamadre is lacking the golds. Orion is saying GG. No! <gasps> oh, where... Where'd his lover go? Orion doesn't have the will to live because his husband's been killed off. Oh, man. I don't think I have what it takes to deal with any more of this. This is, this is so sad. <laughs> uh, anyway, Malmadre might not have the gold, but he has gold to collect from Honey's base. Honey's still alive, by the way. He doesn't have any pop space, but he is alive. 230 years on the monument. Oh, this is a big, big fight. Turkish trading. I thought he'd go towards the middle. He's coming now towards Malamadre. Malamadre has 20 bombard cannons. Now, halberdiers and gunpowder could work here. If Halb's getting close to the Mamluks, they can do damage. It's really all down to micro, I think. If the bombard cannons focus on the sea onagers, then I think this is a fight that Malamadre wins. And so far, it's been decent for him, but the Siege Onagers are also getting some nice shots. Very nice game from everybody here. They played really well, but not as good as Honey, because Honey, he's coming in with the Scout, and he's going to deny this castle. Get wrecked, Malamadre. Can't deal with that, man. <laughs> I like how he's... Does he even have resources? Oh, no. The king has died. Orion is dead. Honey still survives. I think he just wants to see what's going on, you know? <laughs> like, he has no TC. He has the king and the wife down here. The fire ship protecting it. He... The only villager he has is that woman, so he... He's just gonna go around with his scout. Try and see what's going on in the world. Be careful, man. Be careful. I almost want to follow the scout and see what the scout is seeing, but uh, instead we'll have to focus on the fights. Carlini is in the middle. Oh, goodness. Lots of these hand cannons and bombard cannons. Now, Turk is trading. He's been fighting Malamadre, so he doesn't have as much to go to the middle now. Algernon, he's had time because Turk is trading is no longer attacking him. This is King of the Hill and Regicide combined. And I think that everyone in the corners, while they might not be able to keep up with Honey's scout, I think that they're in a very strong position to defend. So I doubt we'll see a king snipe. Where did that scout go? Oh, here it is. <laughs> oh, man, I love it. Everywhere he goes, he's just seeing massive amounts of units. This is what I love about community games. Like, Honey, he might not win the game, but he'll win our hearts. <gasps> no! This is fine. No big deal. Yeah, just gotta avoid those halves, yep. Now, while Honey has the food to create more scouts, he doesn't even have a house, so he doesn't have the pop space. If he loses this, he can't do anything else. Can we see Carlini's resources? I mean, I'd love to show you Carlini's resources, but I feel like this is the most exciting thing at the moment. It's- No! Oh, be careful, my friend, be careful. How long will he survive? He's got- No, no, please, don't do it. 
Algernon, you animal! Oh, man. All right, well, I guess now I gotta show you Carlini's resources. Because that's exciting. Woohoo! <laughs> Uh, I'm just kidding, of course. Carlini has so much gold. And he's pushing towards Malamadre. He's, he can go with anything he wants. He's added in some Cavalier. I'm just trying to damage the guy that might push against him. How many siege units does he have? He has 23 Bombard Cannons. Thousands and thousands of gold put into this expensive army. And yet... He still has 9,000 gold in the bank. Turkish trading can sell for resources if he needs to. Let's look at his resources. And yes, he has 6k gold. And he has a few relics as well. Siege onagers and um, hussars seems to be his current choice. But I think he's going to go into champions. Which is rather unique, I'd say. When there's so much gunpowder out. I can tell chat is focused. I can definitely tell chat is focused. Look at that here. Malamadre defending well. Look at the bomber cannons getting shot down. Look, everything slowed down with the chat hype. To start off this game, everyone was spamming like crazy. And now everyone is intent and watching the action, which I love to see. Napo with 100 bits says four yellow. You know what? You only need one unit to control the monument and win. So maybe the king can win the king of the hill here for Honey. Uh, Napo, thank you for the 100 bits. Oh my goodness, this bloodshed is just too much. I think it might be better to die off in Honey's fashion. Because I wouldn't want to experience this. No one would. Wow. This is crazy. And because the gunpowder is affected by ballistics, micro doesn't really matter that much. So... It's not 100% accuracy, but it's certainly more accurate than it would normally be. Now, look at this. Oh, Algernon's coming to snipe. Hold on a second. This is where Carlini has his king. Algernon running in with cataphracts, skirmishers, and he has trebs. We're at 130 years. Carlini has control of the monument with, well, no units. <laughs> so we're going to need to focus on king snipes. We're going to need to focus on the monument itself. The two very big elements to this. Who is going to go for the snipe? Who is going to go for the monument? Vecca says, this is my first time watching the stream, and it's awesome. Salute to you, man. Welcome. <laughs> it's like watching an enormous pile of gold burn itself. Yeah, you're pretty much right about that, man. Carlini has so many bombard cannons, it seems like he's forgotten about this group. Normally, being a bombard cannon is special, but not in Carlini's town. I think he's realized now. Now Madre prepping defense mainly. He doesn't know that Carlini's dealing with all these issues in his base. Carlini should clean this up. Carclini. <laughs> that was a really bad pawn. I'm sorry. But Carlini and Algernon are not pushing towards the middle end. Oh my goodness. Turkish trading is going for it. Algernon says abort. And I think they all need to focus on the middle now. All four of the big, ho the, um, the big players now need to be fighting for the middle. Check Honey in the south. <gasps> what? How did he get the resources for this? <laughs> okay, so he's building a new TC. I don't know how he got the resources for it. <laughs> I really admire his determination. He has three food. So this one villager will have to build a farm then. Or he could go out and take this farm. And um, then he can start booming back up. Honey lives. I think all three players need to be here to kill Turkish trading. He is really going for this. He has a castle in the middle now. Siege workshops. Look how many siege ramps he has. He is Malian. Oh, that's true. I didn't figure that in. Well, that's why you choose Malians, guys. Now, Algernon should see this and he says, okay, middle it is. So Carlini, he's massing units to go towards the middle. Carlini has played out of his mind. Pretty much everyone left has played very well. So they're not going to want to just let Blue win this. It's 125 military for Carlini, and he has the benefit of range. So it will take some time, but he can range everything that's in the middle here. To chat, can we get some let's goes, please? 
Because this has been an awesome game. A lot of different talking points here. But it's all come down to this. Now Mal Madre also says attack an enemy now. Now Mal Madre, he could attack Turkish trading and go for his king. If he doesn't kill the king, then it just looks like a waste of time. But if he ends up doing it, he's a hero. But what will he go for here? Bombard towers for Carlini. We're at 69 years remaining. <laughs> That's what Siege Honor just can do. Those poor Bombard cannons. Carlini needs a lot of focus because if he doesn't see these, his units are clumped up. Now here comes the trash, the cataphracts, the trebuchets from Algernon. Will they get here fast enough? <gasps> oh! Carlini, be careful, my friends. Be careful. The sea jumpers hiding behind the monument. That's kind of funny. I don't think he saw them until it was too late. Wow. Now, normally rams are a great idea, but against this many bombard cannons, they die to one volley. So, I don't know if Turkish trading can do this. Malamadre is pushing in. Where does Turkish trading have his king? It is... Well not too far away from the action actually it's just in this town center and he also is lacking the gold he's halfway to victory though 50 years remaining pony he's already won this game in our hearts that villager is off working of course the king being lazy not getting anything done in that transport maybe scheming on what to do once they get to uh two villagers once again here I don't know if Turkish trading can do this. What an incredible game. The organ gun's pushing in. Now, will Mal Madre see this? If he sees the TC's garrisoned, and he might, he could kill Turkish trading's king. So this is not going to end here with Turkish trading taking the monument. He might still win, but he's not going to win it in this engagement. He will lose control here. And oh my goodness, these bombard cannons are just insane. Now, okay. We're on Mal Madre's point of view. Is he going to notice that this TC is garrisoned? He has not. So I guess he's not going to make a move for it. But just him attacking here has made Turkish Trading pull back. And Turkish Trading is going to need to reinforce in what used to be Orion's base. Turkish Trading more like Turkish fading. <laughs> uh, that was pretty good. Not going to lie. See, if you guys say the cringy dad jokes, then it's not on me. I'm just simply repeating. <gasps> two villagers! Pony's on two villagers and two farms, guys. He's still in this. He's still in this. The king is still active. He's alive and well. He even has a fire ship on 9 HP. I don't know who to favor. I am leaning towards Carlini now. Because remember, he has nine relics. He has done a great job with the Bombard Cannon. This is crazy. Now watch, Algernon's thinking, oh, I got this. <laughs> Trash counters gold units, right? Why won't this work? <laughs> Algernon says, OMG, that's crazy, man. Carlini not messing around, and they're going to need to deal with this. How will they do it? Now Madre... He no. should probably start pushing towards the middle. Algernon says, I feel like Carlini is a threat. Carlini says no. He's not a threat. Carlini's micro has been pretty good. I know I gave him a hard time for that strategy to start off this game. But he, his micro has been pretty solid. Of course, he does have ballistics on these units, but still. The problem is, I don't care how many resources he has. This army of Bombard Cannons costs well over 10,000 gold takes a long time to create them and it's still expensive even if you have nine relics so this is actually a great fight for everyone involved against carlini he's just i don't want to say thrown away because he's killed units as well but he's just lost well over five thousand golds with those losses so now he's not gonna have as much to to fight for the middle and algernon he's been prepping turkish trading is still trying to stay alive of course he's been prepping a fight this is just giving holy more time this is Honey's game. He is honed in, and he is ready. He's about to boom up to double-digit population, guys. He's on three farms. Don't mess with this guy. If he had the determination to survive to this point, he can have the determination <laughs> to boom up and come back. <laughs> he has quadrupled his villager count. 
in just the space of a couple minutes. Oh, I gotta love this. Carlini's like, oh, just passing. Don't mind if I do steal these relics. I need a few more. Thank you very much. Great attention to detail there. Uh, the countdown actually restarted there, so Carlini has to start at 95 years again. Hmm. Okay. I hear stables from Al Madre. So, uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea to add in light cav and halves and things that don't cost golds, unless you're Carlini, then I'd probably add in Cavalier. But he's going with Skirms. Turk is trading, making Siege Onagers, and I would go Siege Onagers, Hussars, and maybe Skirms. Maybe that would work. Everyone taking their good old time here. Let's look at Algernon's point of view. See, Algernon's a 200 bop, and he has a few relics going for him. I really like Byzantines in this situation. When people are running low on golds, it's nice to have the cheap trash. Can we just talk about this deer for a second? <laughs> Where's he going? Where's he going? Uh, there's another one as well. They're probably all confused. I forgot my king since the start, says Turkish Trading. And Algernon says, there are kings. <laughs> the guy who created the map says, there are kings. Yeah, I'll go back to Carlini's point of view for you. Here you are. He definitely is in the best position when it comes to resources. But regardless of that, he will be 3v1s. And that's before Honey comes into the game in beast modes. Hmm. Bobbert watching in class. He says, I can't hear anything since I'm in class. Uh, well, Bobbert, you're a, you're a big old noob, man. Good thing you can't hear that. <laughs> He's going to be so confused. <laughs> He's going to turn on the audio to the stream because people say something. <laughs> and then he's going to get in trouble. Uh, I'm sorry, man. I'm just trolling you. Well, what is this? Oh, they're actually fighting over wood now. That's a good point. There's not a lot of wood left on this map. Gougernon. He has skirmishers here protecting this wood line. And there's a random bombard tower, or not so random bombard tower from Malmadre on this wood line. Hmm. Yeah, wood will be an issue here. And I think Carlini is sending all of his military down here because he wants wood. <laughs> yeah, he's, he sent all of his bombard cannons down here to deal with this tower. So at least he's recognized it. Now, this has become very passive. It's just building up towards a big Honey finish, I think, right? How many people in the chat are Team Honey? Can we get a T90 Nice in the chat if you're Team Honey? I am totally on Team Honey. 12 villagers? Pfft. That is an average of one villager every 10 game time minutes. That's astounding. I think everyone knows it's a risk to go to the middle, so no one wants to just go for it. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of Team Honey players, or viewers, rather. This is a crazy game. I still maintain that while Carlini has a lot of gold, Portuguese just aren't the best. And a non-gold unit has killed lots of of Bombard Cannons there. In fact, Carlini friendly fired quite a few times there. And this is maybe something that Carlini should have done. You go Light Calf. Like red... I think that one thing that should be brought up is... If it's stalemate like this, it benefits you big time to... Um, to just have a unit in there to control it. Like, Red right now could lose access to the middle. No, it's a small thing, but he has 80 years on the clock. If he just gets lucky because he has one unit parked in here on no attack stance, then he can go for it with only 50 years remaining. And it seems like he's going to have to go and defend against Carlini right now. Now, Honey speaks. The man speaks. God himself has spoken. He says, God damn it. Care about mid. Oh, no! <gasps> Malmadre, you animal! What has happened here? <laughs> Poor Honey! Just imagine the effort it took to get to 12 pop 
And now his... <laughs> now Madrid's probably thinking... He most likely did it by accident or something, but he's probably thinking, ah, it's been about an hour since I've seen this guy. Now, on the plus side, Turkish trading still has farms, and he has the wood <laughs> to build a lumber camp. Now, if he builds another farm, he is pretty much out of the game because he won't have the wood for a lumber camp. Ah, uh, this is funny stuff. Carlini pushing it. Oh my goodness, just look at this! Skirms on skirms on skirms and hand cannons on hand cannons on bombard cannons, but a light cav and the organ guns doing a fantastic job, and now Carlini's scrambling back home. The Portuguese really need something more, don't they? These free-for-all games, they, they don't do well, and big credit to Malamadre, because he's killed so many gold units from Carlini. He doesn't have any relics himself. He's done a great job this game. Uh, now, I'm still really curious who's going to be able to go to the middle. Carlini, he's in the back foot. He's licking his wounds. Malmadre, he does seem to have some units, but it's only uh, 60. Now, Turkish trading is taking his good old time here. And he has rams again, skirmishers, and pikes. Wow. So maybe Turkish trading and Algernon have the edge. Due to the fact that they seem to have wood. I don't know. Ah, uh, this is fine, guys. This is fine. He built a lumber camp. He's a smart player. And now he's building a market. <laughs> now, you better be darn sure you want to build this market. Because that is 75% of your wood income. Alright, he's committing to it. I'm sure that the prices on the market will be great for Honey. Needs to work up towards that town center. N Let's be honest, guys. Honey is such a threat that Malamadre had to kill him. Because if he didn't, Honey would have easily won the game. Oh, look at these sneaky rams from Algernon. Yeah, you're not going to sneak by this. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, bingo, Tingo, Bingo. Thank you for the Prime sub. Can we get a Woo Wave chat? Sanshar, seven months. Thank you so much. Sightmop, thank you for gifting the sub to Ripped Up Runway. And then Burton, thank you for the Prime Petite Salad. Thank you for 100 bits. Thank you, everybody. If I miss shoutouts, just yell at me, and I'll make sure to catch up. I think we're all caught up, though. See, this is what I'm talking about. Algernon has the monument at 67 years. He might not have the force to truly win this right now, but I think if he had a few more units in there, he could have held on to that for a bit longer. Now, it looks like Malamadre is focusing on the middle, which is extremely interesting to me, because he's the first player to converge towards the middle with a lot of units in a long time. Everyone else has just been playing it safe and, and trying to not take damages. Now, look at this. Turkish trading, defending well here, and now Algernon's being attacked by Seedrams and Mamluks. I assumed these units were going to go towards the middle. This could be a big, big problem for Algernon because he already seems to be losing these engagements. Where is this king at? It is in this town center, which of course is still far away from the action, but it is doable for Turkish training. Now, Malamadre Mal going for it. He's going for the middle. And then it might be Carlini and Malamadre once again fighting for the monument, and then it'll be Turkish trading and Algernon fighting amongst themselves. Now, let's not forget Honey. He's concentrating now. He's really in the zone. Doesn't even need to repair that fire galley because he knows he doesn't need it. He's a pro player. But this fight is so big. So many gold units going down. The cataphracts, the siege hunters, the rams, the mamelukes. Is it worth it for Turkish trading to commit so many resources into siege? to just kill one castle, or maybe two here. I guess it's questionable. I think Byzantine Trash will win out once the gold units get whittled down. Now, I think Malamadre is going for it. Yes, four production buildings, he's gonna spam. He already has the Halberdier upgrades, so he just needs to spam Lightcap and spam Halberdier. This is 63 years. This is as close as anyone has ever been. Now, oh my goodness, at the same time Carlini's pushing in. Where is that king at? Malamadre has his king running away from the action. Look how close this is. Oh my goodness. Now, many of these players have idle villagers. 
they don't really have a lot of economy because they're running out of wood. And that is the case from Al Madre, and he's going to send his villagers into the middle and just try and win this. With 54 years remaining, he's going for it. If Carlini kills his king, Mal Madre will not win, despite having units in the middle. Oh, wow, this is really interesting. The, oh, is the king going to go into the middle? Don't do that. I don't agree with that decision. Oh, okay. He's, he's, he's YOLOing. Pony trying to buy stone. <laughs> he's selling wood and food and buying stone just so he can get a TC. So stone is expensive these days. Unfortunately, I think Honey's days are over. Will Mal Madre be able to win this? You go to others' point of view, and they can see the villagers and the like have in the middle. This is where um, they need to talk to each other. Carlini says, FYI, I am not in middle. And this 1v1 is pretty close between Algernon and Turkish trading, but they will both lose if they don't get here. All, almost all of the population from Mal Madre is sitting next to the monument. And Honey says, get the mid cleaned up for me, guys. Oh, he's appealing to the common folk. The god, Honey, is asking the plebs for help. That's when you really know things are looking good for Mal Madre. Find the red king. Yeah, I could do that for you again. Uh, I did control group it. Let's see. It's Oh, it's in the tower. Okay. Well... That's, in, in hindsight, that's kind of brilliant. Now, someone has researched treason to see where... <laughs> to see where the king is! And with 23 years remaining, Carlini shouts out and he says, Red's king is in the middle! <laughs> I've never seen this before. I This is putting all your eggs in one basket, really. <laughs> Carlini assumes... <laughs> that the king is in his face, but no, everything that Red has is in the middle, and the king is right here. He's seeing, he's witnessing everything. This would be so epic. I so badly want to see this sniped, though. Hold on, where did it go? Oh, it's running around. It's running around. Oh my god. Carlini says both go middle. Algernon did say, okay, that persuaded me, so they're, they're all going to push in here now, but is it too late? The king is right here! And Malamadri certainly has enough units to hold this. Is there any siege? There's no siege! <gasps> I don't think that Carlini can get close enough to snipe this. He almost needs to run underneath the towers to get there. I don't think he has the time now. Malamadri says GG. He's at 120 population. Just slightly better than Honey. He's even doing the victory dance there. You see that Bombard Cannon doing the victory dance. Oh my god. That game was sick. That was a sick ending. I love it. You know what? If he had kept his castle, or his king in his castle, then maybe he would have lost it. And <laughs> the fact that he sent that to the middle just blows my mind. <laughs> he deserved that. He deserved it. Because he, he truly went for it. And his engagements all game were pretty strong without relics um i guess turkish trading had two relics for a while until carlini sniped them and stole them but algernon had relics carlini had relics mal madre did not and he won without relics very well played there mal madre and um unfortunately honey is gonna <laughs> uh, honey was sending his king towards the middle to help out <laughs> he's gonna go down in the record books for this and maybe not mal madre of course I'm kidding, but that was a great game and a great map. So can we get some salutes in the chat for all the players and to Algernon for making the map? Because that was an incredible game. Literally King of the Hill, yeah, for sure. Though he's he's not really on a hill, it's like King of the Crater, I guess. Alright. Well here's the KD, Turkish trading killing more units. Uh, the eco stats will be interesting. That's no surprise, Carlini having more golds. I just think... The Portuguese are awkward, man. Because Algernon saw the Bombard Cannons, we saw the Bombard Cannons, and we thought, oh my gosh. The Portuguese are just really tough to use. I think if Algernon, or if Carlini had another civilization with those relics, it would have fared better for him. Imagine Saracens with those relics. Siege onagers. Mamelukes, he probably would have done a bit better. Bombard cannons were fun to see, 
in action though. There's the technology stats, the society stats, 19K gold relic for Carlini. Now, you have to give Carlini credit for going for the relics at all because he thought of it immediately. And then here's the timeline. So, as you can see, Algernon was pretty competitive all game. Nopesor, unfortunately, was up against him. So, he got nope, he noped out of there pretty quick. <laughs> uh, he died later on in the game. Carlini, he did very well. Teal, unfortunately, as... Carlini's score went up, Teal's score went down, and he just gave up on life after a while. Now, Madre was consistent. You can see Honey struggled, though you can see where he boomed back to four villagers on this timeline. Look at this right here. This was a good moment for him. <laughs> uh, Turkish trading, of course, as his score grew on the timeline, Orion Lion's score dropped. JR with 100 bits says, thanks for the entertaining community games. Gotta run. All right, man. Thank you very much. So, YouTube. That's going to see you at some point. Everyone here came from YouTube. They're going to throw some salutes to you. If you want to join the Twitch action, be part of the Twitch community, just feel free to click the Twitch link below the stream or below the video. And also my other social media is there if you want to stay up to date. G-Man says, Hey T90, again today I didn't get an email from Twitch to notify me you were streaming. Well, normally you can get email notifications if you sign up for it. Um, sadly, it didn't work for you, man, but we still have more games going on today. You can look at the schedule, which is always below the stream as well, if you want to know when the streams are going to happen each week. All right, so that is the end of an amazing game. Uh, I'm going to need a couple minutes to take a break. Just step away, get some water, and hydrate a little bit, and then I'll be right back with the next game. I think the next one we will do Regicide, Diplomacy, Free For All. Probably the best game mode for, um, what's the word? Community games. That's what the word is. Uh, Falco, if you have to head off, I'll see you, man. Carlini said that was fun. Yeah, it looked like it was a lot of fun. You're paying attention to your micro a 